His name is Fabio, and this is his story. Wow, the sea seems surprisingly clear and shallow today, he says. I can even see the strangely shaped sea creatures on the bottom. He has been traveling for a solid two hours, and he's already exhausted. He rests his tired bones against this tropical tree. Oh look, he awakens. He scours the vast oceans into the horizon. He's nervous, but excited to see what awaits him. He has now made it into the Sahara Desert. The unforgiving land releases its wrath on his already aching body. The scorching sun, the blowing sand, and the unbearable thirst constantly plague him. He's on the verge of collapse. In fact, he does collapse. It seemed to hurt bad. Traversing this arduous trail is nearly impossible. He tries starting a fire to warm him in the cold nights. He fails. How sad. It seems that our brave merchant has entered a brief wooded area. Oh look, a bird. Cool. Oh thank the Lord in heaven above. He has made it out alive. Despair had almost overtaken him. He meets a friendly merchant. He trades his wonderful jewelry for the other man's silk. His silk fascinates Fabio, but when asked for how it was produced. The stranger attacks. Ooh, let's hope he doesn't get any boo-boos. His journey is completed. He survived. Good job, Fabio.